Today we're going to try tackling turnips. Turnips had a bad press over the years. The winter varieties, they are big, heavy, swede-like things, probably best used for cow feed. But these are summer turnips and they are sweet, slightly bitter and they've got a kind of radish-like taste, like somewhere between radish and kohlrabi and they're delicious. Now they're not going to compete with the kind of spring and summer favourites like asparagus, they're never going to be up there with those unless they do what cow does and suddenly become a superfood in people's eyes. But they are delicious and they are easy to use. Now you can use them raw, uh, you can slice them finely and chop them through slaws and such and you can roast them but actually the trick I'm going to show you today is braising them in a pan. And what we're going to do, we're going to cook them in a pan with as minimal amount of liquid as we can and then we're going to drive that liquid away at the end so that everything, all the flavours and all the seasoning that goes into the pan and it stays there. We're not going to drop them into water and boil them and then, and then pull them out. Everything that goes in the pan is going to stay there. Now we're going to do it very, very simply. We're just going to have a little bit of oil, uh, maybe a sniff of vinegar and a little bit of salt in the, in the pan. We'll finish it with some uh, fresh herbs. Now you can do this in a luxuriant way. It's often referred to as glazing on restaurant menus where you could load the pan with heavy stock and wine and butter and reduce that down and get this kind of sticky glaze and really full of flavour but actually what you'd be doing is masking the flavour of the turnips. Now it'd be nice to send these out with the tops on but you try and send them out as a bunch they break away from the tops and start rolling all over the place so we tend to take the tops off but if you can get your hands on turnip greens you can cook them down just like a normal side of greens and they are great as well and then you just want to give them a little peel just take a potato peeler and go around them and take the peel off and then for the sake of this recipe we're probably for a medium sized one we're going to cut it into eight equal sized pieces the smaller ones into quarters maybe so now that we've got our turnips chopped we're going to turn the pan on on a high heat and we're going to add a dash of oil into the pan we're going to get that oil nice and hot so it sizzles as soon as we add the turnips Okay, well I'm waiting for that to heat up. I'm just going to say this technique works really, really well for kohlrabi and radishes as well, if you're thinking about a similar taste. Now the radishes, they only take about six to eight minutes. You kind of want to have them half raw, half cooked. It's really interesting because they kind of, the colour from the skin bleeds and turns them bright pink. It takes away that slightly warm, hot edge when you eat them, but they do look beautiful and you can serve them hot or you can cool them down and throw them through salads. And kohlrabi works as well. It starts to go a little bit mushy towards the end, but if you turn it with a spoon, then it start, makes a kind of nice half braised, half mash. And it's really good with lots of fresh thyme and chilli and garlic in it as well. Okay, so now the oil's hot in the pan, we're gonna add the turnips in. Take care when doing that, you don't want the oil to kick back at you. So sizzling away in the pan, I add a good pinch of salt. I add it at the start so that the seasoning's able to move through the turnips and, and they're nicely seasoned all the way through. And then I just add a little bit of vinegar at the start as well. Now this gives it a nice lift um, and a nice sharpness. So you could use lemon juice or white wine at this stage as well. And then once you're confident that it's going and there's good heat moving through the pan, I add a little dash of water and then I clamp a lid on. Now the idea is that they're going to kind of fry and steam inside the pan. They release their own liquid and there's enough liquid in there to stop them burning on the bottom of the pan. And what you want to do, you want to give them a stir and a check every three or four minutes or so and just make sure that there's enough water still in the pan. If they look like they're going to catch, add a little dash more water and keep doing that. They'll take about somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes to cook all the way through. This is a very simple version of it. You can add all kinds of flavouring in those last few minutes. If you want to take some chilli or some garlic or some thyme and you want to throw them in as you take the top off and you drive that liquid away. If you want to throw lots of flavours and aromatics or spices in there, they will take, this will take them really, really well. So you can throw them in in those last few minutes and cook them out as you're cooking out the turnips. Some people like to add sweetness. They like to add some honey. I've seen people add marmalade, a little dollop of marmalade to it. Um, I've seen people add chilli and spices, kind of Indian spices or Thai spices into there as well. But get them to that final stage where they're nearly done. If you add stuff in there too early, it will catch and burn in the pan and go bitter. When you think they're nearly there, take the lid off and then drive away all the excess moisture in there and let them take on a little bit of colour. Keep stirring them. You can turn the heat up again at this point, right at the end. Get a nice little bit of colour on them 
and just finish them off. Take them over the edge until they're perfectly done. Once your turnips have taken on a bit of colour and are finished and you're happy that they're done, just take some flat leaf parsley or some other soft herbs. You can use chervil, tarragon works really, really well with it as well. Um, give that a fine chop and then throw the parsley into the pan and take it off the heat. Straight onto a plate and that is your braised turnips. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and share and leave comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us cook or talk about, hit the notification button and be the first to watch our new videos each week. Thank you.